could she be? Where could she be? My wife. She's out there somewhere. On the ice. She could be injured. Dying. Or worse, those hideous little creatures might have gotten her. Oh, it was a disaster. We were on our way to Orsinium, my wife and I. She's Lady Sovel, ambassador to the High King. She was coming to negotiate a trade agreement. But the ships went off course, crashed in the storm, and now Sovel is missing. You want to discuss geography? Now? My wife is missing! We need to find Lady Sovel. She was helping people off one of the wrecks, the other survivors. Captain Henriza won't risk any more sailors, but perhaps you could search the ice for me? High King Emmerich relies upon my dear Sovel. If she were here, she'd know what to do. I saw you talking to that milksop, Ethian. He's nothing like his father, nothing at all. But I don't have time for his belly aching. I need to make sure we don't lose any more people to the cold and the ice. I am, although I'm not sure that means much now that my vessels are smashed upon the ice. Is there something you want, or are you just here to remind me of my failures? We rescued Ethian, what more do you want? Haven't I lost enough sailors already? The Ambassador's gone, probably drowned or crushed on the ice. I have a duty to the survivors here. Besides, we never should have come to this land in the first place. On the quarterdeck, during the storm? She was helping one of those green-skinned savages she loved so well. Who can say, though? I was trying to avoid an iceberg at the time. familiar which of the ships were you sailing on when when we hit the ice I'm the first mate of the flagship Matir's fortune I I came down here to secure the hatches when when I saw the ambassador's bodyguard and then I hit my head I don't remember anything after that Scordo the knife He's an orc from North Point. The ambassador brought him along in case we ran into any trouble. He told me that he thought something was going on and asked me to keep my eyes open. The ambassador? I have no idea. I did see Lady Sovel and the captain having a heated discussion right before the storm hit. Ah, oh dear. I hope the ambassador wasn't injured when we crashed. I'll go check on Lord Ethian. He's a nervous sort.
there. Anyone that's not a reeker, that is, could use a hand. Whoever you are, can you move some of these damn crates? I'm stuck! Damn furniture tore up my sword arm. I'm practically useless. Stupid ship started collapsing around me. Figured I was gonna sink before I got out from under this mess. Sure, I enjoy being crushed under rubble as I slowly sink into icy water. What kind of question is that? And just who in oblivion are you? I had a feeling I'd be seeing you again. You do have a habit of wandering into the most disastrous situations. He did, did he? Last time I saw that spineless skeever, him and Chorus the Mage were walking away. They left me under here to die. I heard them talking about the Captain and the Ambassador as they left. He's one of Captain Henrise's lackeys, a shifty-eyed mage who was always skulking around. Didn't like him. Look, help me out. I don't think I can swing a sword right now, but I need to make sure the Ambassador is all right. Hard to believe, but not every Breton likes that High King Emmerich made peace with the Orcs. They call us savages, and they want Lady Sovel's mission to fail. Captain Henriza wasn't shy about telling the Ambassador just what she thought about Orcs. in a fight, so I'll follow you. I suggest checking out more of the wrecks. Or maybe she headed for that tower over there. Did you find my dearest Sovel? Please tell me she's all right. Have you found my wife yet? Please tell me that you know where Sovel is. Where could she be? And why did she have to stay on this ship? She cares for everyone else, but refuses to safeguard herself. Scordo, you were supposed to protect her. Impossible. The captain works for my father. She would never harm my wife. Wait. We saw the captain head toward the signal tower. If that's where Sovel is, then I have to go there too. Damn Milksop is gonna get himself killed. Go after him. I'm in no condition to keep anyone safe. Do it. 
I'm on top of the tower! Sovel, she's not here. And I think maybe that mage tried to kill me. Well, maybe he was trying to kill you. What? How dare you insinuate such a thing? I would never! I'm as at a loss as to where Sovel is as you are. My father promised we would go off course just long enough for Sovel to miss her meeting. She wasn't supposed to be harmed. don't know. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. Terrible storm. All those sailors who died. My father said Captain Henriza would make sure that no one was harmed. We were only supposed to get into port late. We were just... It, it was supposed to... The captain has worked for my father for years. And father, you just can't say no to him. He said that the captain would take care of everything. What have I done? Solvel will never forgive me.
there you are. Scordo found something. While you were up in the signal tower, Scordo did some scouting, and he thinks he figured out where Captain Henriza disappeared to. He went to see if the ambassador was there as well. Just down the path here, he found what looks to be an old smuggler's bolt hole in the rocks. Scordo sent me back so I could tell you all about it. He's waiting for you over there. I'll head back to camp. I need to check on the survivors. See that cave? That's an old smuggler's hole. I bet my last gold piece that Captain Henriza is in there. Maybe even the ambassador. Nothing really, just a gut feeling. I learned a long time ago not to ignore my gut in situations like this. Besides, I saw one of Henriza's lackeys sneak in there trying to be all stealthy. I'm sure that's where Lady Sobel is. Why would you want to reason with someone like that? Do you reason with an angry Wamasu when it's trying to eat your face? No, you... Oh, overdone. What's that fool easy enough to now? I know you're in there, Henriza! Where's my wife? Run back to your father, you pathetic little man. Free my wife at once, you villain! I'm going to do your father a favor. She... She stabbed me! I feel... High King Emmerich will hear of this, you... You blackguard! I knew you were nothing but a filthy orc lover! I should have gutted you the moment you entered our camp! If you could untie me, I would greatly appreciate it. And would you know if my husband is safe? He's Lord Ethian, and I made sure he got off the wrecked ship with a few of the crew and passengers. Ethian? My husband? Tried to stand up to Captain Henriza. I... I never expected him to do such a thing. Ugh. Why didn't he stay with the rescued crew? He was never good in a crisis. Tell me, how bad was he injured? <sighs> this is all Ethian's father's fault. What a vile man his father is. Ethian never could say no to him. And Ryza was eager to tell me all about it after she captured me. If Ethian dies because of this, I'll find a way to make his father pay. Thank you. I should go see my husband. He wasn't a brave man, but he tried to stand up against that vile Henriza. He did, didn't he? Thank you. Now, I have a job to do. I'll mourn Ethian after I have fulfilled my obligation to High King Emmerich. I'll send Scordo ahead to Orsinium to let them know we are on our way. Perhaps we'll see you there. The orcs will negotiate with me. 
There's still time to salvage my mission and make sure Ethian's father lives to regret what he set in motion. But thank you. Without your timely assistance, more innocence would have been lost. No, my friend. You've done more than enough. The rest is up to Scordo and me. I knew Baron Matir was a despicable man. But to force his son into this treasonous scheme? I never could quite free Ethian from his father's influence, though. <laughs>